Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Phil Stanton, the Director of Athletic Communications at Randolph-Macon. I'm joined with Head Coach Bill Rogers, now in his 19th season at Randolph-Macon, and seniors from the 2015 women's volleyball team. Uh, unfortunately, Rachel Jacobson was not able to join us tonight, but we'll have each of the other players introduce themselves, let, them know, let, let us know where they are and what they're doing. So Courtney, let's go ahead and start with you. All right. Hi, I'm Courtney Miller. Um, I am currently a registered nurse at Riverside Tappahannock in the Surgical Services Department, and I work as a post-anesthesia care nurse. Um, so I'm the person you come to after surgery. And since I've graduated, I've gotten married, and I just had a little baby about two months ago. Woo! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emily, why don't you go next? Sure. Um, my name is Emily Ortiz. And I am a yoga and meditation teacher in Dallas. And most recently, I'm a labor and postpartum doula as well. So yeah, I live in Dallas, Texas. I don't know if I already said that, but that's what I'm doing now. Excellent. All right, and then we'll head to Richmond. And Addie, why don't we start with you and we'll go right across the couch. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I'm Addie Cooper. I'm currently living in Richmond, Virginia, and I do sales for a company called CoStar Group, and I'm actually transferring to their Denver, Colorado office in a month. Wow. <laughs> Didn't know that. <laughs> God, I am <laughs> so nervous. Um, is that, I'm good. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Katie Rossberg. I'm living in Richmond. Um, I work for Madison and Maine, which is a marketing agency um, downtown as their client services manager. All right. I'm Friday <laughs> Martin. Um, I'm currently in Richmond as well, and I work for McKesson Medical Surgical doing data analytics for the sales team. Excellent. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We're going to look back five years to 2015. Let's first go back to August as preseason was getting started. Y'all had not been to the NCAA tournament since your freshman year. And you were still looking for your first ODAC title. So what were expectations going into the season? Emily, why don't we go ahead and start with you? Oh! <laughs> um, I think expectations were pretty high since it was our last season. And we kind of knew we wanted to go out strong. And as preseason kind of progressed, I think we all kind of knew that that's where we were heading. We all are really competitive and kind of fed off of that uh, competitive energy. And so I think, I don't think any of us knew that we would go as far as we did, but I think we definitely had that confidence of winning an ODAC title and, and going to the NCAA tournament for sure. Anybody else want to add anything? I think like also additionally, like we were coming in with a little bit of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, we were, we were a little mad, we were a little angry. We had something to like prove. Like a vengeance. Yeah, we had a little bit of a vengeance. We had something that we wanted to prove that year as well. Coach Rogers, what were your thoughts going into the season? Um. <laughs> Well, now let me think about that. Uh, this is an extremely talented group. And if anything, they'd been underachieving. And so um, as, as competitive as they were, I felt like that we could do most anything. I don't think any of us had the goal of ending up where we did. Um, we've always had the goal of going to the NCAA tournament and doing as well as possible. But um, I mean, is, you know, you'd love to go into a, a season with six really seasoned seniors, and that's what they were, and talented, and they were all contributors. Well, as the season started, Yellow Jackets won 13 of the first 14 that year. Was there any game early in the season, any match that where you really felt like this was going to be a special season? Katie, why don't we throw that to you? Um. That's, that's a toughie. I wouldn't say there was any, like, one game, but I definitely, from what I can remember, it was, like, more of a um, 
it was building as we went on. So every time we, we swept a team, it just kind of, I wouldn't say it made us, it made us more confident and also more eager to do more. So every time we kept winning, we just kept getting more confident and pushing further and further. So I can't remember an exact game, but I just remember feeling like we were a well-oiled machine. Like it was just, everything was, we would call timeouts just to give everyone like a breather. Coach fairly, I mean, he obviously, he said, he said some stuff, he did important things, but he also just would be like, all right, guys, just take a break, get some water. Like there wasn't too much that we needed to correct. I don't remember. I feel like, was that, was that the season? What were you going to say? I'm trying to think that I feel like there was a tournament where we played teams that were out of our conference. And yeah. I think that's where it all clicked for us. I think we, we like, did really well the Emory, the Emory tournament yeah. that year. And we were like, dang, we, we almost got to beat these teams. Like we can go, yeah. we can go far. Or something focus. different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We were very like was- on the ODAC at first. Mm-hmm. Like I think, and we were just trying to, Again, we swept a lot of teams. I, I don't think we dropped but, like, maybe one game that whole regular season, um, if that. So we were just sweeping teams, and then we went – that's right. We went and traveled, and we played these teams that are higher level, and then that was a moment that it clicked. Like, oh, we're, we're really good. We're not just good for where we are. We're, like, we're a really good team. I know one game that I had noticed on the schedule, second game of the season was up at Mary Washington – that was a team that y'all had lost to the previous year, and, and that was a 3-2. Um, so that was one game that it looked like kind of turned around from the previous year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that, but that's – I do. That was definitely, definitely a nerve-wracking one. Dang, I, I completely blocked that out, I guess. I'm yeah, sure. I remember that one. They were always a tough team to play for whatever reason. I think they just got into our head a little bit because they did, you know, beat us that previous year. And they had that uh, really annoying setter. Really? Sorry. And I could use a different word for it, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. I think yeah. so. I got a couple yellow cards. The, the really annoying setter is now the uh, assistant coach at WNL. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Good for her. <laughs> for her. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change, you know. <laughs> but. Well, you all end up rolling through the regular season, 22-7 and seven overall and 11-0. and 0 in the ODAC. So you earn the right to host the ODAC tournament. Quarterfinals was against Lynchburg, and that was a team that had kind of been a nemesis of y'all prior to 2015. So, Courtney, can you talk just a little bit about the mindset after the regular season and now heading into the postseason? Um, I would say you definitely have a different mindset in the postseason because you have you just take it, not that you don't take it game by game during regular season, but during the postseason, you literally take it game by game because as we all know, we have lost to Lynchburg in the past and doesn't set well with any of us, um, even in the ODAC tournament. So I guess we come together and we try to run different plays because we do see them, you know, in normal season and they are very keen on Katie and I, and they know that the ball is going to go to the outside of Katie and I, wherever Katie and I were. And so we would try and incorporate right sides and middles. And then we would even do it where Katie and I would, you know, hit from the opposite side of wherever we were, or even run a play in the middle. Um, So definitely having the mentality of being versatile and, but still being competitive and not letting them get in our heads. And, uh, continuing to take it game by game instead of match by match. It was scary too, going into postseason. Like we had that feeling of being embarrassed like three years in a row, I feel like, Mm -hmm. which like unexpectedly we had done, we had performed in the ODAC regular season every single year, you know, and then it was different teams that ended up taking us out of the tournament. So I feel like we were all kind of trying to make up for, I mean, embarrassed might not be the best word, but well, ODAC teams are also very hard to play. Like, it's always easier to play up to your opponent, mm-hmm. but when when you're playing someone that's not as I don't know traditionally skilled, it's definitely that's harder. a nice way to say that. <laughs> right? Traditionally, yeah. sorry, I'm trying to wash my mouth now that I called the setter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we were definitely trying to make up for like we knew what it felt like to be burned. I think. Like everyone can attest to that. We 
we're all, like Emily said, very competitive. So we knew what it felt like to be burned and overconfident. So I think if anything, we came in of like a, the opposite mentality of like, Yeah, I think we try to take a really calm approach and block out, you know, all that noise and negative energy that we had felt previously. Yeah. Does it feel like there was more pressure when you're playing at home for the Neodak tournament? <laughs> Someone else. Well, Riley would say yes. Yeah, because we lost so many crucial games when we were freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. And then Bill also <laughs> made us. I remember was this the start of senior year. No, it was the ODAC tournament. Didn't we sleep in hotels? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. We, always, we had like weird superstitions where weird we had to, superstitions get a lot. We had a lot. And one of them was like who we slept with and like getting coffee before the match and, and so the way you were <laughs> sure you would wear Oh yeah. What, <laughs> yeah. what sure you would wear. I'm sure those I remember we went to Starbucks a few times. Yeah. I'm sure they wanted to literally kill us. Yeah. It was just like the most Bill, when we were on the road <laughs> we would be prepping for a tournament on the road and all of a sudden it was like uh bill we have to go to starbucks <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i forgot about that. yeah like you have to it's not like i would have to take them to starbucks to buy <laughs> two-thirds of them whatever specialty coffee that they had i mean they did they got into that routine of let's not break the spell <laughs> this is what I this like, is the routine i mean what, yeah. what am I Refuse them Starbucks. <laughs> and then we all had to match shirts, our pajama shirts, Mr. Stan. Yeah. Like we all had to wear the same shirt to bed. It was the Puerto Rico shirt. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's the question you asked where we got to that. Um, <laughs> more pressure at home. Oh, yeah, so, more pressure at home. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> different mindset. Was that, was that the year we did stay in a hotel? Yes. We, yes. We, so we we're at home, bro, and I had them up in a hotel. I don't know if other ODAC teams do that at, at Randolph-Macon, but I was like, <laughs> I, 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 have to, I have to get them to bed early and I have to corral this group. <laughs> well, you get through that first round and then you've got Roanoke in the semifinals and that was another 3-0 win. So what do you remember about that semifinal match? I'm trying to think of who the really good players on that team were. I remember them oh. playing really well. I feel like they were – Picking up a lot of balls that we weren't used to. Um, yeah. Um, we picking. played Blackwell's daughter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's she all I remember from that game. I don't know anything else. Um, was that girl that, that came on a recruiting trip who <clears throat> had a hearing impairment, was she on that team or was she on a the right side? Bridgewater. Just kidding. She, Bridgewater. Bridgewater. she was really good, though. That, the scores were 25 16, 25 16, 25 16. How do you That's remember? pretty good. I think we dropped a set to them in the regular season. Did we, Did we not? And we were all really mad about it. Yeah, yeah. like we, we, dropped, a, we right. dropped a set to somebody, and I remember being really irritated because I think that might have been the only set that we had dropped. Oh, yeah, that's the one I wouldn't call a timeout at. Oh, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> yes. I would not call a timeout in that set, no matter what. It was 25-21. We won the first one. And in the second one, we just kept bleeding points. And I wasn't going to call a timeout. And we lost it 25-22. We won the next one 25-8. <laughs> wow. Bill, do you have these stats up? Like, are you looking at the second screen right now? Yeah, I'm looking at the second oh, screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. We won the next one 25-9. Yeah, wow. So I, I think I got my point across. Yeah. But, but you're right. Y'all were mad going into Roanoke. And, I don't think we've dropped a set to Roanoke in 10 years, except for that one. Yeah, I think, I think you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah probably. Game. When I didn't call a timeout? Yeah, you're right. I probably mentioned it then. I, I don't have a feeling like I was going to throw up the entire ODAC. <laughs> like, literally, my mom, like, came behind the bench, like, after we're warming up or something. was like, do you need to, like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm totally – like, she said, I, I remember being, like, ridiculously nervous, probably more nervous than I feel like I'd ever been playing ball. Yeah, anyway, that's mine. That's why I remember. <laughs> All right, you get through Roanoke, and then uh, Virginia Wesleyan is waiting. They're the second seed, um, and it ends up being a, a tight match. And, and so kind of talk about what you remember from that championship. I feel 
like every time we play ball was they give us everything they got it's always a pretty competitive game mm -hmm. but we usually come on top yeah we so dropped I'm, a set though i'm yeah. shocked you said it was a tight match mr sand because i thought i was literally shaking my head like that was a breeze but no, no, no. So we dropped it was set. tight Thing. We won, I think, 21 25 at the end, but like it wasn't an easy. And they have a good libero. So. Yeah. We went to, so we, yeah, we played, we're our best friend from high school who we played volleyball with forever growing up was Bowes's libero. So there was definitely an ultra competitive something there too. Um, but again, I just remember being like stupidly nervous. Um, <laughs> and again, the pressure probably just getting to us. Yeah. There was a point towards the end where I feel like I could. I knew that we had it, but I didn't even feel like real. And there was also, oh, I just got goosebumps. Um, there was a ton of people there, like a ton of people there. I think it was, they had a lot of people come up. Yeah, for them. they did. They had a lot of people too. come up for them. And then, I mean, to me, it was the most packed volleyball match I ever remember playing at Randall. And I think Val Wes hadn't won an ODAC championship yet or something. And they were really like, I could be wrong. But I think they were really they looking were. forward to, yeah, they were looking forward to winning one and I think also just beating us because. We're at also at home. Yeah. What's that? We were also at home, so they were trying to beat us in our place. Yeah. Right. They also just get, like, they're scrappy. So pumped to play us, like, every single time. Like, it's their end-all, be-all, I feel like. I think getting past them kind of was, like, that final, like, spark pushing us like into the next few games. I think we just like really needed to get mm -hmm. that past that. And then we kind of just like let loose and went off a little bit. And it wasn't the best match. It wasn't the best match we'd ever played. Like I remember it yeah. just being like, I'm not going to say just okay, because it was better than okay, but it was not. It wasn't pretty. No, it wasn't really pretty. It wasn't. There we wasn't, leaned on people that we don't usually like lean on. Like, yeah. We definitely mm -hmm. had to switch her around a good amount. Yeah, and when we won, it was literally like, like just started crying. Like there was yeah. no, there was, there's no feel, like words to explain that feeling of like finally, because to us it wasn't just winning the one year, it was winning all basically all four years. It's like we finally, yeah. like our last yeah. chance, finally did this thing that we were pushing towards the entire time we were there that we took for granted, and then it was just like as good as winning it once, but like 10 times over. Cause it felt mm -hmm. like winning it four times. You know what I mean? It just felt extra good. Katie, do you even remember the last point? I don't, I remember the last five points. I remember, I remember like looking. I don't remember any of it. I like um, pretty sure Aaron got the first ball, passed it to Sam, right? And then Courtney hit it, I think from the outside and it like, it like weirdly Trickle ricocheted well, no, off for its arm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, like, went, the other team's libero, our friend, it went, like, very bizarrely just, like, kind of fell. Yeah. And I just remember being, like, holy, like, what just happened? And then just, like, falling down crying. That's the only thing I remember from that game. <laughs> That's That's like, I remember. Courtney, you hit that final ball? It was you? <laughs> it, like, I, I think it was. I don't remember. I think it was Courtney, but you were, like, from the right side, weren't you? Yeah, it was because Sam know. said it, like, bump said it mm -hmm. to because Aaron took the first ball, and I remember being like, and I'm not going to oh, cross yeah, on this, yeah, but I remember yeah. being like, oh, crap, like, what's happening? Like, it was just a very, again, not a super pretty play. play. Yeah. We just made it happen. It was just, it was nuts. It was nuts. Did, Pete, did the whole entire stadium come down onto the No. Ball? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they rushed the field. Yeah, I know. So were you able to enjoy the victory, or was it more just relief? We enjoyed the victory. We enjoyed it. We, we, we went definitely to, enjoyed it. We went to Alas and we enjoyed the victory. Yes. Like, um, like we should have. I was like <laughs> champions. Courtney, you remember the Alas? Yeah, Courtney really enjoyed the victory. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> the alumni were there with us and we had fun with them. <laughs> it was, it was, it was you know, good. Yeah. So, I know they enjoyed the victory because they only had two regular season losses their entire career to ODAC teams. And they wow. hadn't won a championship. That's cool. And, I didn't and so, know. I, well, I was there too. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that they won, they enjoyed that. Yeah. You know, there's a certain thing, there's a certain 
pride about going to the NCAA tournament as the tournament champion. Because we had been to the NCAAs before as an athlete. Been there before, but not as a champion. Which is cool. Yeah, yeah going, you had a little bit more of a, you just have like your stuff. Well, and you also, you deserve to be there. Right. Yeah. You were there because you made it there. Yeah. yeah. What were the days like in between the ODAC championship and then playing first game in the regional against Stevenson? We went with Yeah, just how, how practices were, just how you felt going into regionals? Well, going into it, we had nothing to lose at this point. We had accomplished, well, you know, being the ODAC champions. And then whatever we accomplished from here on out was just an extra, you know, like an extra check mark, an extra thing to add to us. And <clears throat> so going in, I think practices were just as intense. We played a lot. You know, we didn't do drills as much, but we did a lot of playing. And the drill I hate the most, the football team, the football game. Um, <laughs> yeah. Still to this day, because Bill would always put me we we a, one lap around the field. Yeah. Like, we're we're football in practice today. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, was, are your teams fair? Because they weren't very fair when we were there. So. Oh my gosh. Yes, they were. Look at me. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I'm not mad about this. <laughs> and he knows it, too. I remember being really excited about finding out like the few days before you found out which side of the bracket you were on. Mm -hmm. Like that was so exciting to yeah. figure that out. It was really exciting. And then when we saw that we only had like our side of the bracket was actually like pretty intense. I say easy, but like it was what we would have wanted. Yeah, it was like best case scenario or could have been because Emory wasn't in yeah. our side of the, the bracket. And then, but we saw CNU and we were like, okay. Oh, seeing you in the bracket, I think, motivated you guys. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. too. I think also the difference was, like, we came in with a ton of excitement and a ton of fun. Like, I think we just played with our heart and played because we were having so much fun. I think that mm -hmm. was kind of the difference. You know, we just won this ODEC title. We got, you know, the head games that we played with ourselves during the, during the conference out, and we were just going into a whole new tournament with just having yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was like, like Courtney said, like, there was no fear anymore. No, like, it was right. nothing, yeah, there was, was nothing, like, let's do it. It was like, what can we do? Like, why would we not just, like, there was no holding back. Like, it was, right. like, I remember practices being, it felt like a match every day. Like, it felt like a, every practice felt like just like a normal volleyball match, you know? Like, and we were just, I mean, getting after it, I guess. Well, you end up getting Stevenson in the first round end up losing game one and then win the next three. So, so talk about the experience of that first regional game. <laughs> one, they were nasty. Yeah, oh, they no. were so mean, Mr. Stanton. So mean. How, I mean, how so? Verbal, verbally? Verbally. Verbally, through the net. Emily, Emily knows. Courtney and Emily know. Yeah, it was, it was bad. I'm surprised Emily and I didn't get kicked out of the game. <laughs> Because <laughs> the first were not very nice. <laughs> so that that was like over and above what you would experience against the NODAC team or any, oh, yeah. any yeah. team. Any team. Any team. <laughs> well, it, it was motivating. We talked about it during timeouts. And um, I know it motivated them to play harder. I think it was a really stupid move on their part um, because I just think that – we were the wrong team to do that to. Yeah. Most of us are motivated by anger, so. <laughs> it threw us off, I think, at first. Like, we just were yeah. like, what the heck is going on? And I'm, we have to keep it PG, right, Mr. Stanton? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> saying, okay, yeah. so what the heck was not what I was thinking, but it's what I'll say now. Like, what is going on here? Like, Courtney is mad, Addie is mad, Emily is mad. I was like, what is happening? And then you get to the front and you experience it, and you're like, oh my God. I'm a, lot, bad. Of a yeah. lot of yeah. just like, yeah, it was pretty nuts. I've, we've never experienced anything like that. No. I mean, it speaks to our sportsmanship as a team, you know, the ODAC standard in general, I would say. But <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> rise yeah. above it, Mr. Stan. That's all you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> and then put it back. I feel like we cruised through pretty well after that. Yeah. yeah. They, they took prisoners on the way while they were, while they were rising. <laughs> I think we figured them out pretty quickly as a team. Like once we understood where they were hitting, I think our blocking was pretty – Insane, if mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah, well, they had a left-handed right side. 
Yeah. And then once Katie and I figured out where she would only ever hit cross court, she never hit down the line. So once we read her hitting wise, then lights out. Bye. She gave us a hard time at first, though. I do remember that. She did. Yes. You the said first, what? The first game. She gave us a hard time at first. Oh. Like, oh. Verbally and also just like, I don't know, outsides don't want to block like um, all Left that. Much. Like that's she. So she gave us a hard time. Then Bill gave us a hard time. And then. April gave us a hard time, and then we gave ourselves a hard time, got it. and then we figured it out. Bill, did you heard anything in the scouting report about them being that verbal at the net? <laughs> you know, that doesn't make the regular scouting, scouting report. <laughs> <laughs> no, in volleyball field, this is, these are the fi things you find out when you play a team. And they were nasty. Yeah. Like, I could see it going on, and yeah. normally I can't hear that stuff, but – I mean, I could tell by what their reactions, they had to be nasty. Because, you know, we really preach we're, that we don't give it back when that happens. Right? Did yes, you yes. preach that? Right. Yes. And yes. Yet, I know that I knew they were going to give it back to them because, you know, they're, they're using it to try to undermine your ability to play. Yeah, it was, that was insane. It was intense. Yeah. Riley, was that the game where you got the yellow card because it was something I said, but they thought it was you? No, I, I think, I think that was seeing you. Yeah, I think it was well, seeing you. That game is a whole nother topic, but yeah. We'll we, get there. We are mouthy with each other. We are used to that. Like, we are right. pretty mouthy, like, in practices. We were very mouthy, like, in, the, I think, a good way. Maybe not so good for the younger girls. But us <laughs> in the class are very, very fiery and, like, I think that was an adjustment for the younger girls, but I don't know. To to have us be stunned by the crap talk, crap talk? Yeah. shoot talk through the net, um, I guess is it says something. So it definitely threw us off at first, but we we shut them up. You end up getting through that first game and then CNU's next. They're number five in the country. And they had defeated you earlier in the year in a a game over in Lexington. So, so talk about kind of beforehand your thoughts on playing CNU and then kind of how the match played out. I think we're always excited to play CNU. I think we always know it's going to be a challenge. We always know it's going to be a game and it's just going to be like an all out, let's see what happens kind of game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also knew that, um, Emily, what's her name? Brianna, Brianna was hurt. Yeah, we knew Brianna was hurt. So this, it, like, we had a better shot at beating them. Um, that was their big outside at the time. And well, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, so there was some, but then we knew that they still had really good, they, everyone. Their there. setter was really good. Remember, she played all the way around. She was yeah. very good. And they play, they're one of those teams that I would say is on our level but plays differently than we do like yeah. they have a different strategy than we were used to in terms of how they just everything their offense they're running a 5-1 and the way they set up their defense I remember they had middle up at one point points. yeah but any that the long and short of it is we're very excited yeah and I think just like ultimately like we played them so many times that in this game especially we figured them out and again we came up on top like I think we figured them out um really heavily blocking wise and when they try to move around and switch up their hitters you know we were just picking those balls up mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. they also did again a similar strategy to whatever team that was that we played the first time they are big into mind games as well they like <laughs> it, it has to be said their captains like gave us their left oh, hand yeah. to shake they asked us who our favorite scientist was and i was about ready to just like <laughs> Like, I'm not, okay. I I they, they really immediately made me really mad. <laughs> and so we came back, and I think they were, again, just that, like, they, they do it to, that was one thing that was consistent with us is that we were an emotional team, and when we could use it in the right way, it was really successful. So I think they they accidentally, like, set that off. They, they I were, think I could be wrong. I don't know. But I feel like CNU never completely took us super seriously like they knew that we were like a good team that was going to challenge them but I don't think they ever genuinely thought that we were going to like beat them in a regional semi-final game when they'd been there like 
year after year after year. So I think just seeing that like switch during the game of them playing and then them being like scared, Mm -hmm. I think just gave us so much more like confidence to kind of like finish the game off because I I don't know about you guys, but like I, I knew we had it in like the second or third game because they just looked scared. Like they knew that they were going to lose. Yeah, I agree. Like even when, because that match went to five. Like going into that fifth game, like oh, I was, yeah. I feel like I wasn't even nervous. Like I yeah. was like, let's go. Yeah, yeah. That's because we were having fun. I like didn't even look at the score. I feel like in that game, it was like just all about having fun in that game. And it was fifteen to thirteen. Oh, yeah, no better. It doesn't. It does not even feel like it. I was, was not fun. having fun. I'm not gonna lie. I was not having fun. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, being even forty, like you weren't checking the score. I felt like I was like blinking, waiting. No, for because the most I, the more I, it, the more I would get nervous, and I was like, okay, stop looking at it. I'll know when the game's over. Y'all tell me. So. Also, <laughs> also <laughs> <that's> wrong. <laughs> Courtney, that you also got the winning point on that one too, and you just tuna, it. tuna fished it over the net. It just like <laughs> dip, dip, dropped to the floor. I'll never forget that one. I didn't black out. Point is a point is a point is a point, yeah. you know? And that Beating was- them, I feel like, is equivalent to the ODAC championship. It was, yeah, it was, was, it was right yeah, there. it felt good. I mean, if you saw the looks on their faces when we won, it was just, it was just such a great, like, they were in, like, shock. Like, I think that they really thought that they were, like, going to win the national championship or something. Like, yeah, they I were just, felt, yeah, shocked. Shocked. They were well-ranked in the country. Yep. And losing to us was definitely a problem for them. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, the, and you know that there's nothing I enjoy more than beating that coach, right? <laughs> well, I knew that. But um, I don't know if you remember this, but first of all, Phil, we outblocked nearly every team we played that year. And it was, it was an emphasis in our practices. Is that true, ladies? We worked on blocking. Oh, did we? Work on- our blocking was superior and you know it's it's kind of an unsung stat to be to 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 beat teams by blocking them but in the NCAA interviews that coaches have to do you know whether win or lose I have to go do an interview afterwards the CNU coach did this interview right after the match and you take in one or two players you guys remember that right and yes with Emily yeah. and he was in there like like this and they asked a question and I don't even know what the question was but her answer was they were just an unbelievably great blocking team and to me that was like that that was absolutely perfect because you're damn right we were an unbelievably great blocking team thanks for acknowledging it as we took you out and and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, I mean they couldn't there was no there was no like clean rallies there. It was every single point was a fight in that one. There was no just like it's over one and done. It was like a constant back and forth. Yeah, well we had 13 blocks to their five. We have rewatched that game, I think. I mean, I'm not gonna like out ourselves, but like probably three or four times since. I haven't seen it in a few Wait, years. how? I, I wanted to rewatch watch that. Yeah, well, your old Randolph Macon school email. Uh, you'll have the attachment there. Don't worry. So we sent it around a few years ago, five years ago. A hundred percent. I'll get it after this. But yeah, yeah. For, just, forward that to us. Yeah, that was an unbelievable game, and I think we also felt like we put them in the position that we had felt like, like they treated us the way we treated other ODAC teams. I feel like, like they thought they were going to mow through us, and it was really, really nice to see them be so shook. And to win and advance. Bless you. That was cool too. Do y'all remember our parents after that game? Oh my yeah, God. that was that was the best. That All was, our parents were there. Get it. Those videos I like more than probably anything from that whole season is the parents. Yeah, freaking <laughs> out. Mom just starts immediately. Bawling. Emily and they're all crying. Yeah. Emily and I have identical pictures of us hugging our dad to cry. Yeah, like that picture is awesome. And we had a really sweet bus driver too, who was like cheering us on <laughs> yeah that was so fun yeah and our parents yeah our parents had a party they celebrated right yeah after they, that. they we couldn't because we had a game but they 
they they were they the hit parents, the town. The parents had a good time. Yeah, they had a great time. Oh, is that the game when we came back to the hotel? And they they, did, they, they did all this. had they were lined up yeah. when we yeah. walked in. They did a tunnel for us or something. Definitely nice. after a few cocktails. I think they had some in their hand. Yeah, they, there was like bottles. Yeah. <laughs> did y'all feel going into the game that 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 potentially was for the regional title? I mean, I know you don't want to look ahead. But did you kind of feel like the winner of that one was going to win the regional? I don't know. I don't think we, I, yeah, I think we were just take, like, we just were taking it one game at a time. Like, I don't even think we were thinking about that. We were just thinking, like, let's beat CNU. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I would agree. I was just going to say, I didn't, I'm not going to say I didn't care about the regional title, but it, it wasn't even on my radar. Yeah. Of, like, the idea of winning regionals wasn't something that we were shooting for. It was right. like beating CNU or beating the team in front of us. It yeah. wasn't like we're going to come out of this weekend. Well, Addie's dad was at, was win in advance. At, did we see? Yeah. yeah. Addie's dad kept texting her like, win in advance, win in advance. So we started saying that around the locker room. And I think we were just looking at one game. Yeah. And but but as far as the two teams there, we definitely thought that we, oh, were, yeah, the, yeah. we were the top two teams from our estimation. Right. But like, we weren't super thinking about that wasn't something that was on our radar no, no. at all so but we did think that we were the competition or they were our competition there right and I think something that coach you emphasized like <clears throat> towards the end of the season was like we want to peak at the right time like I remember that like very vividly and I feel like we started you know, going up in the ODAC championship and we're, we're just really, we just like kept peaking and peaking and peaking. Um, and I feel like every game we just like got better, like more in sync, like things were just like clicking supernaturally. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it, just, it just felt like easy, like not easy, but it just kind of felt like felt a right. little bit mm -hmm. natural. Yeah, Bill Hartley had the coaches at the end, Mr. Stanton. We just were, we were, we were moving, right, coach? <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. Well, you get through CNU and then you have Stockton in pretty one-sided scores, 19, 12, and 19. Um, I guess you felt pretty confident after CNU um, going into that game against Stockton. Yep. Well, let me tell you about it. <laughs> so the Stockton AD through the whole tournament was my buddy. He would come seek me out and sit down and talk about how great his team was. And I, you know me, I don't really talk about that stuff with other people. And um, I, they were like 32 and four or something or two, three or four or five. They were really, really doing well but I've never had a whole lot of respect for those mid-Atlantic teams because they play a different style of volleyball than we do um, in the south and the midwest it's a much different game they don't do a lot of blocking up there and so I was pretty confident that our team was going to disrupt them and I would say that we disrupted them and I went back and looked at the stats, and I think we had 16 blocks, and they had zero. Oh. They also had those two right sides. Do you remember that? Yeah. And we were the perfect team to take the two right sides out with Courtney and Katie on our left side blocking them, and we just shut them down. The AD never came to see me again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was sitting in the stands in the first, watching the match, He'd come up, sit beside me, and talk. The next day, I'd go sit in the stands. He'd come up beside me and talk. More later the day, he'd come up and sit beside me and talk. After the match, he disappeared. Never saw him again. He, I mean, they, they just, they just knew they were going to win that regional. They just knew it. And that I, team, that team was scared. When they got blocked a few times, they were done. Yeah, that was easy. It was easy. Yeah, it, like, it felt so easy. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, was it was just so bizarre. They play a different style of volleyball. And they don't know it because they all play each other. They don't go out and look for 
the Emerys of the world or the Wartburgs or the or the the teams in the Midwest like Wittenberg, you know, or or, or fly to California to play a different style of volleyball out there. And they don't really they, they don't do that. they they this mid Atlantic Northeast region just sits around and plays each other and it's like group thing. They all think that they're playing well and they weren't and they don't and they're not. And I, I was really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, what do you remember from the match? I remember it being like pretty easy. It's almost like they were playing like a zone version of basketball defense on the court. It's just like they would only stay in their certain yeah. areas and I, they just couldn't keep up. No, I, did, I don't even really remember a whole lot because it was just so simple, it felt like. Yeah, it was just, yeah, I agree. And maybe they were like nervous because it was at home or they felt like they had a lot to lose or I don't know. But Maybe they watched our CNU game and got a little skirt. Oh, yeah, I would yeah. Honestly. The CNU game to me was the championship. Yeah, it felt yeah. like the real win game at all. Yeah, when you said Stockton, I was like, oh, I forgot that we played them after. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They just, and, it, I, and this is going to sound ridiculously cocky, and I don't mean it that way, but I just remember feeling like there's absolutely no chance that we lose to this team. Yeah. Like, like I, as we're doing it, I was like, this isn't even, I would compare it to practice, but our practices were more competitive. Like, seriously. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but that just, that was where we were at in our headspace of just, like, moving and cruising and just not, I don't know. We were just. We Game were, one, we Mr. Well. Sam, we knew we were going to Michigan. Mm. That's it. I it was Michigan. Grand Rapids, baby. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, well, now speaking of that, you head up there. Had any of you ever been to Michigan before? No. Never. Had, had everybody flown before? Yeah, I think so. I think there was someone maybe who had it. No, because we flew that year for volleyball. Oh, okay. I think You're maybe right. it was someone's first year flying when that year for that season, but we had flown to Texas, right? Yeah. So what do you remember most about Grand Rapids? All the gear we got. <laughs> it was I still, I still have cold. my personal magnet on the fridge in my house. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, gear, what, Riley, what gear did you get? <laughs> we got. What did we get? We got a backpack. Jacket. We got a, a jacket, jacket. A magnet. T-shirt. T-shirt. Personal It was just like. Oh yeah. It was just like. Yeah. It just felt elevated. It yeah. was just on a whole different level. Game. And then we got to go to this fancy dinner, Mr. Stanton, and Courtney gave a really great speech. That was nerve-wracking. <laughs> she gave a speech? Yeah, you don't remember I'm sorry, that? I don't remember. Oh. Well, I Maybe do. Great, Courtney, I remember. <laughs> I remember, Courtney, too. What did you talk about, Courtney? You remember? If I pull it up on my computer, I'm sure I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I talked about how I sat with Jeff Burns on the plane. And he was the one was like, who helped me write this speech because I had no idea what to talk about. And he, uh, him and I came up with something talking about how this was Randolph Macon's first time making history and the, how Randolph Macon's basketball team was on the map. And now we're putting Randolph Macon volleyball team on the map and just the hard work and the dedication that it took to get where we were. Um, I, I really don't remember everything that was said, but I'm sure it's something along those lines. <laughs> The dinner was fancy. Yeah, the dinner was cool. We all got white roses for being seniors. Yeah, that was yeah, cute. That was nice. Yeah. And our hotel, oh my God. It was like beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was like, do you remember? They have that fountain down there yeah. and like, oh, probably one thing I remember from that trip is that museum that Bill took us to. And <laughs> anyone else? And in the, all the stuff. I had to take my OCHEM exam. I couldn't go to that museum. Oh, yeah. That museum was fun, though. It was like the NASA Space Museum. I thought it was like a bicycle museum. It was, because I, I have a picture of Bill on a bicycle, on like the tallest bicycle thing. And then we're on a car like a carousel thing. And it's okay. me and Anne. I mean, me and um, uh, I think it's Aaron. And we're both on some caris like horse carousel thing. And mine's a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, of course, remembers the important stuff. Once we walked in, it was very clear the age range was closer to like the 11 to 13 year olds of the world, but we still had a really good time. Yeah, we did. Have I fun. think also, um, 
We got to go to a dinner, like when we first got there with all the other teens. Was that before? That was the fancy dinner. That was the fancy dinner. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, we, like, sat down what about the yeah. facility? That's a 40 day prestige. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're y right. Y'all yeah. remember the facility? Yeah, I hated it. Oh my gosh, I loved it. I, I felt like the lights. You won board. We it had three. There were real replays. Yeah. There's a huge, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, jumbo drum. Yeah. Up high. It was awesome. But don't you remember how bad the lights were? The lights were bright. The lights were I remember the lights. That's all I can remember is the lights and how bad the lights were. And I hated it. Every time somebody would set the ball and right to the outside, that's all you looked at was the really lights. Cool. It was right above the, the yeah, bleachers. they were a little bright. It was, yeah. it was definitely not the lights of what we had seen or played against. We have a very nice facility. And that was like, I mean, oh my God. It was huge. But it felt yeah. cool. It felt really cool and very official. Wasn't it a sports court or was it a gym floor? I think it was a sport court. Was it? Yeah, I think, I think. I don't, I thought, I remember thinking it was. Well, there's a picture somewhere that is like taking, like looking down on us and it's blue flooring around. So I think that's the sports court. Yeah. It was. It was crazy. It was very nice. It was surreal too. It was like the locker room was set up for us. Like we had all, like everything that we could have ever, it just wasn't, yeah. We, we, we went from being like big fish or biggish fish. And then it was like, we're the littlest fish in the pond. Like it was, it was crazy. Yeah, that is true. Well, it, was, it ended up being a really, really close back with Carthage 23, 21, 26. What do you remember about the match itself? Oh, their setter, their setter was really good. Their setter was insane. It's not often that you say, and this isn't a diss towards setters, but it's not often that a setter is has the ability to be offensive enough that everyone remembers her. Mm -hmm. Like she, she was like, she was a first team All American, right? She was like, like she just was, insane. she was really good. Their yeah. outside was really good. Their middle they were was just very well. They were very clean. They were well yeah. rounded too. Yeah. They're good. They were just really, really good. That setter was like, and she. It was just she was tricking everybody. It, it was hard to keep up. It was like, it was. It, we were getting tricked, like, like, or I'm gonna speak for myself. I was getting tricked by her, like, and she, she set it up to where we didn't even have a block up, which is very unlike us in general because she was just so fast. What were the scores? Oh, sorry, I'm like. There you go. What were the scores, Mr. Stan, of each game? 23, 21, and 26. I mean, like they, they put up a good fight. We definitely like, did. That, those are good scores. Yeah. Really good family. I thought we spent a lot of time learning how to play that team in the first two sets. And we were up by six at one point. In the yeah. Third. yeah. They were just, you know, championship caliber team. But, um, it was 28-26 in the third. Mm -hmm. and I feel like that third set could have gone either way. But if we'd have won that third set, I felt like we were going to win the match. Like our our projection of getting better was like this. And I just think it could have gone either way. But um, I think this team, had this team played teams like that during the regular season, Carthage plays them all the time. I think we would have gotten past that team. Mm -hmm. We did in the third set. I felt like we had them, and that was yeah. got really frustrating because we lost a really big lead. Yeah. Like we lost, we lost a big lead to where we were finally kind of back in our element. Like the nerves were out. The new gym, we didn't really care about it. You know what I mean? We were in a groove, and then I agree with you, Bill, because I feel like we we outplayed them in the third game, but we just started to make some. I don't know what it was. We started to make errors and just kind of lost, lost the lead, and then ended up. It was unfortunate, obviously. Well, but, good, good teams make you play badly, or or they play better. I mean, yeah, I can't take anything away from them. They were a great team. I just remember getting blocked a lot. They and blocked. I couldn't do anything. They outblocked us, and they were the only team in I think that year. They did. Blocked us. And they picked up my tuna all the time. <laughs> I don't think I I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it much against them. Like I didn't. They very quickly. There seems that you learn that are just 
no matter how hard you hit it, they're going to pick it up. You know, mm -hmm. like you can't just rely on hitting it hard, which I think we had gotten through a lot of teams by just like hitting it hard. And they just, I didn't really, I remember just being like, all right, this is not going to work. Like what else can I do? And it was a lot of just like, I don't know, not wish, junk, but like different things. Yeah. Yeah. You wish what? I wish Rachel Jacobson was here because she got like three aces that game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all remember that? Yes. Rachel, so she'd never served in a match before because she's a right side. So she, she never would have. served in a match. Couple she had three aces. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like right in a row. <laughs> yeah. So then ace, ace, ace. And we were like, okay, whoa. Like, like, like all right. That was incredible. Yeah, sweet RJ. It was definitely like a, I don't know. It was a test, I feel like. And while we didn't win, it was still really freaking. <laughs> we, we were sad to an extent that everything had come to an end. But I think it was more of just, I mean, if you're going to lose, it's nice to lose to a team. Yes, that yes, 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 yes. They rock. There was no kind of situation where we could have put up a fight, but it wasn't like we were feeling mm -hmm. that embarrassment or like that, whatever that we had felt in the past. It was just kind of like a, a more realization that the season was over and that our volleyball playing was over was, I think, the bummer of that one. Right. So. Because they were a really good team. They were very good. They got second or no? Fourth overall. I don't remember. I thought they, they went won to the next round too, I think. They won the next round? I think so. Yeah. I feel like they got second. They won the whole thing. Cal Lutheran. That's what I remember for the, you. The host team was out. Yeah. Yeah. Was they, that? that was a, kind of like a fluke. Yeah. Because they were. Who was right? that? Where were we? Um, I don't know. Oh. What did we say? What did you say, Bill? Was it Hope? No, I thought it was. Oh, Colorado Whitewater or something? Was it a Colorado yeah. thing? No, it was the. It was. They were like basically. They we were at their school. Maybe it was not. Hope. I don't remember. I think it was Hope. Oh well, yeah. So we were, and they had a lot of girls there at that dinner, and they had not made it. And I remember right. seeing them and be like. That sucks to yeah. me, you. <laughs> oh, not in a mean way, but just like, oh, that was, you're supposed to be here. That was hard to watch them, like, accepting awards that should have been really cool, and they were just not happy because they weren't able to play. So it was definitely cool to be able to play. Oh, another funny thing, Mr. Stanton, they spelled oh. our name wrong in the, um, at the fancy dinner. Really? Yes. It was Randolph with an F. Randolph Make University. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's all right. They'll get it right the next time. The next time <laughs> we got there. Just because that was, oh, that, that was funny. That was funny. I remember I saw it came up. We were like, yeah. Oh, oh that's not, oh, that's not where we go to school. But that's all right. Well, now that five years have passed, what do you all remember most about that season? Ooh. Courtney, why don't we go and start with you? Beating seeing you. And I think as far as our team, I feel like that's the strongest our team had ever been, like in all four years of being at Randolph-Macon. And our superstitions, because we also had this, like, Halloween witch thing. Like, <laughs> that's a Courtney. secret. That's a secret. <laughs> well, we had many superstitions, and I'll never forget that. But definitely the – the how strong our team was the bond that we had with all the girls like even in all the classes from freshmen you know all the way up and just I think the camaraderie between everybody and how competitive we were not only at practice but it transpired into the games like against everybody else and it was fun. Addie how about you? I think I think ultimately what it what it goes down to is that ride that we had senior year. And I think, you know, it, six of the five seniors were all on the court, you know, freshman year, we're all, we're all young girls trying to figure out like how to make sure we're starting on the court and then just ending with us all together our senior year and having that ride. I mean, that's all I remember. It was great. Thank you. Um, I, I would say like my biggest, like takeaway, like the thing I remember the most is just like the straight up, like not just like competition, but like uh, we were almost like one track mind. Like every single time we were there, 
like we were all on the same page. Like we didn't have time. We didn't get in any fights. We didn't do, there was no drama. There was no nothing. It was literally just straight up like this fierce competitiveness that was just like, it, it was like, uh, not like a sickness, but it was like, it was literally like all we wanted to do was win and everyone, that's all we wanted. And it was just like incredible to share that with everyone and know that we were all, I don't know, a part of something truly, the biggest takeaway is like a part of something truly bigger. Like to make history in a program is something that it sounds like hope, like whatever to say, but it's like really special um, to be able to say like we were a part of that. And they've got the banners up now. So that's cool. Finally. Woo! Riley? Oh, my turn. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, all those things that everyone just said, I think also we went out playing like that whole season was the best volleyball we've played in our life yeah. and that's yeah. a pretty cool thing to say the last volleyball you played I mean granted adult league aside the <laughs> last like serious volleyball you played was the best you were at your peak performance I mean that's what everyone wishes for yeah, yeah that's the goal Emily yeah I was actually going to say kind of that similar thing I remember in practice just <clears throat> it was like towards the end of the season and just like thinking like we're never going to be like this good again like ever and just kind of having that realization of like this is it like this is our collegiate career and just I also remember how much we like grew together um you know like we started off basically as <laughs> children coming into college and um just how much we emotionally matured together and also kind of like physically kind of grew into ourselves and all of our individual talents. So it was definitely a really special season and definitely a special class too. Probably no one is ever going to be like us. So go <laughs> <laughs> that as a positive now in some way. <laughs> yeah. I'll never get them again, and it's probably half, <laughs> half bad, half happy. But. Bill, what do you remember most about the season? Well, these young ladies were um, very mature, very independent thinkers, and um, very smart volleyball players. And I, I could push them right to the edge. And I would get some kickback from all of them in different ways. But I pushed them as hard as any group I've ever pushed in, in volleyball, just to be better. And, you know, it, they squealed a little bit. <laughs> Their personality was, was they weren't introverts. And, but the, the other side of it was, you mean we would call a timeout during the year and it's like who's going to talk and and who's solving the problem here it wasn't bill's going to fix us here and somebody would have i mean i would marvel at immediately they'd come out and two of them would be talking about how to fix the problem in the left back and two others would be talking about how to connect better in the middle and it was like, I called the time out, but they were mature enough to see that this is the opportunity to get better and fix things. And it was like that in practice and it was, and they were driven and, and honestly not winning the ODAC those three previous years, um, just fed their fire. I really believe that every senior class now at Randolph Macon wants to win the ODAC tournament. Like, it's embarrassing if we don't. I mean, we posted it. How many years, Phil? Six, seven years, something like that? Because we win the regular season every year. And and it, there's a lot of pressure to, to play at home. And no team wants to lose that ODAC tournament. Well, this group definitely didn't want to lose the ODAC tournament. And they were just driven. And, that, and I remember that. And I remember pushing them. And I remember talking to my assistants about, well, do you think I 
punched Katie's buttons one too many times this time. <laughs> you know, or or I can see Courtney's a little mad right now. Whatever <laughs> happened, Courtney? Quite a few times. <laughs> Quite a few times. And and you know, Addie Addie's the one who likes to get along with everybody so much, including me. <laughs> but I'd see the stress and you know, I was, and Addie was a fantastic blocker in the middle and I would say, you know, we have to do better. And, and, you know, I mean, all of them are like that. And so I guess that's what I remember the most. I, I measure every recruit now by you guys. That's sweet, Bill. Praise. Well, thanks, everybody. This has been a really fun hour. We want viewers to stick around. We're going to have a replay of that ODAC championship victory over Virginia Wesleyan. I would like to thank everybody again for joining us and be safe. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody.